I remember when I was little, my dad, he said, if you're passionate about something, you'll make it happen. It doesn't matter what you have to go through. My dad ran a ranch, a big cattle ranch. He was there for 25 years. He always wanted his own thing. And so this bit of land came up for sale and he just bought it and basically just started again in life. He said, everything here is ours and it's ours for the rest of our lives. I was beginning to think I needed to get more into conservation. And so we decided that we would have our livestock and we'd combine the livestock with a tourism enterprise. Coming in with a tourism enterprise meant that we could now really concentrate on the conservation, because tourism and conservation go hand in hand. Rather than killing of animals, but your whole concept comes around to protecting them and the best ways to protect them. Our whole philosophy is to give them an experience of what we have grown to know and love here. Our tourism here has sort of become an extension of our family life. And for me, Africa and nature and the bush is all about connections and leaving with something in your heart, not just in your head. You know, you've got to come here and, and actually feel it. The places it takes you to gives you a completely different outlook the smells and the dust and the way the wind is blowing and your senses, everything becomes slightly more acute. There is so much going on around you. Every day there's a romance to it. If you take the local people, the local Kenyan Africans, the pastors of the north, they could teach us an enormous amount. They have incredible family people. They have a structure their families stay absolutely together. Wherever you look, look at us, and us humans and our family. Our families are the most important things in our life. This is our life. It's everything we live for.